You don't know who Jimmy Buffett is? Uh, Cheeseburger in Paradise. Never watched it. It, it's a song. It's not a movie. Cheeseburger in Paradise. How about uh, Margaritaville? You know Margaritaville? Nope. Looking for a table of salt in Margaritaville. How do you not know these songs? I do, because I'm not as old as you. <laughs> these are like classics. Thank do you me. know who Jimmy Buffett is? Uh, like a uh, guitar guy? Right here? Yes. Be a straight up honest here. I'm going to get Marie out of jail, and I would love if you would help with that. Hello everyone and welcome back to San Andreas' Finest. Today we're picking up uh, assistant... Wow, whoops. <laughs> She's gonna kill me for that. Deputy Chief Campbell and uh, going to a meeting with the brand new mayor of Blaine County. Now, the civilian department recently did an election. Uh, a bunch of people ran in the community to run for mayor of Blaine County. And, uh, <laughs> excuse me, uh, Bailey won. So she's now mayor. Uh, she's also still a firefighter in our department, but she is also uh, uh, the mayor of Blaine County. So we're actually going to go have a meeting with her right now, um, you know, to go over some things uh, regarding, I don't know what, to be honest. She's the one I called the meeting. So we're going to find out once we get there um, how that goes. So. I just drove over the curb. Park over here and she has to cross the street. Okay, you don't need to honk at me. Yeah. Oh, should I have been in my form? I'm off duty right now. I mean, so am I, but it's fine. Oh, okay. Um, whoops. That's all good. Doesn't matter to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I even have my uh, long sleeve one. Um, in, uh, it's still in the laundry, so I gotta wait for that to get back anyway. Yeah, it's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, oh, we're only around the corner from the place, too, which is good. I was, about to th I was thinking, why am I getting a ride when I could just walk, but then I realized we're also gonna hang out after, I think, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe go to a cafe or something. Yeah. The door for you there. There you go. Uh, okay. I think she said third floor. I'm fine. <laughs> no. Sorry about it. You uh, you okay? You slipped on the floor there like a yes, lot. I guess yes, they just exactly. mopped it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, where are we going? I don't know where we're going. Uh, here's some signage over here. Where is all the security? Good question. Where's all the people? There's no one here. I think we have to go up the um, the stairs. That's the third floor mayor's office. Mayor's office. Okay. This way. Yeah. It would, would be nice if there was an elevator. No, oh, well, you're a firefighter. You can walk up three floors of steps, yeah, old know. man. Just because I can doesn't mean I want to. <laughs> I saved my legs for my retirement. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, with firefighter work, you're definitely not going to have much of a body left. I'm, I'm going to do the... Wow, shut up. I'm going to do the... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to become like Jimmy Buffett. I'm going to buy a seaplane and a guitar and just start like going to different islands in the Bahamas and writing songs. You know who uh, Jimmy Buffett is, you young whippersnapper? Is your head buffering? B -b Buffeting? Buffering? Get it? It's a joke. It's Buffett. Oh my god. Alright, let's go find him. You didn't answer my you question. Sure open. What's that? What's... No, you know, I, I don't know who that was. I didn't know. You don't know who Jimmy Buffett is? Uh, Cheeseburger in Paradise. Never watched it. it. It's a song. It's not a movie. Cheeseburger in paradise. How about uh, Margaritaville? You know Margaritaville? Nope. Looking for a table of salt in Margaritaville. How do you not know these songs? I do, because I'm not as old as you. <laughs> these are like classics. Exactly. There's even a restaurant called Cheeseburger in paradise that is named where, after him. Ma'am, where is the mayor's office? Ma'am, have please? you ever heard of Jimmy Buffett? Thank you. She knows. Let's just back here, it looks like. Come on, go, go. You go. Why am I? I'm the one that's underdressed for this. I don't even know which one it is. I assume it's going to be this one with I the flag. Just knock on the door. Oh! Ah! 
Hey, is uh, Barbara on break again? I can hear y'all yelling out here. Where's the No, she's, si she's sitting there. She's sitting there, but uh, okay. she's being very quiet. Bailey. Uh, sorry. Mayor Bailey. Congratulations, by the way. Um, oh, thank, yep. you, thank you. Do you know who Jimmy Buffett is? The, uh, like, uh, guitar guy? Finger? Yes. God damn it. <laughs> she knows. Why? Because Campbell doesn't know who Jimmy Buffett is. I, I told you. It's the, it's the, um... You know, the American singer, songwriter, musician, author, actor, and businessman. <laughs> He's an author? Is that why you made me go first? Because you wanted to look at your phone real quick and look that up? You... I'm not Ooh. looking at it. Do you see a phone in my hand, yeah, sir? You were, you were doing it when I, when I wasn't looking. He's got those Google glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> That's how she looks up all of her medical, like, uh, knowledge, too, when she's on the scene. Just on no, scene, I don't. Just, like, talking to the glass. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, this guy's got a heart attack. How do we handle a heart attack? <laughs> it just comes up on her glasses. Oh, my God. You know what, Campbell? Uh, I just want to point out that Bailey has been after her own office for years now. And not only, not only did she get her own office, it's better than ours. I know. It's better than ours. This is bullshit. Yeah. And then um, the one next door is my assistant's office, too. And then I have my own receptionist. It's great. Nice. That's a big office. Look how much space you have right here. Yeah, you yeah feel free. Yoga. If you want some fruit, it's all there. And then, yeah, if you want nice. to do yoga, um, be careful. I was here yesterday. Somebody tried to shoot the window. It's okay. It's bulletproof. Already? Oh, it's been happening every single day. It's okay. I understand. Sounds like they're angry People at you are... winning. Yeah, I think they're... Yeah, it's okay. Anyway... Um, we can sit if you want. It's kind of difficult, or we can stand if y'all are cool. So I've got a couple ideas that were mentioned beforehand, and then I would love to hear your ideas after that. Yeah. So in terms of fire, hang on, let me just scroll through. We gotta get to the right department. Hydrants, please, for the love of God, hydrants and Sandy. Okay, please, we can please, start please. with hydrants. We can start okay. with that. <laughs> thank you. It's the only reason why um, I voted for you is because you said you put hydrants there. Yes, yeah, so, um, I was looking into making that happen. I was talking with the water and, uh, electric people. That's not the right term for them, but whatever. Uh, what we need from you is we need like a grid, basically, of ideal locations for fire hydrants. I don't know if you want that through the fire department or if you want to team up with the <clears> water <throat> power company. I just need Ooh. like a layout of where you think ideal fire hydrants will be. Then we can get construction started on it. Okay. I, wouldn't, that, I, I, wouldn't that be maybe um, a fire marshal and water and board thing? Maybe they can work together on that? Yeah, fire I think like it would be... Thing, yeah fire department so i just need somebody i don't it doesn't matter who y'all think well, is best, the whole uh, yeah the, the hydrants i know uh, i i don't actually i'll have to look you know look at that to see who's actually in charge of that because i know there's zoning issues as well and well i mean that's that change that's probably on on mayor bailey's end and yeah no and that's everything. on my oh, okay, side okay, okay, yeah okay. i just need to know where you want them so i can fight okay. i can't just go to them and be like hey we need fire hydrants everywhere yeah i need like specific <clears> locations they can be like yeah this one works this one doesn't um, okay. And I do have a question uh, with that. Uh, so, because the county doesn't necessarily have a water grid already, uh, I, I, I know most houses up there work off of uh, wells. A lot of the businesses work off of wells and stuff like that. And um, I believe there's like a water tower or two. Um, I know Grapeseed has its own water grid. Sandy Shores doesn't. Um, and there are some. I know there's some challenges regarding um, the type of ground that we're working with there um sand and rock and everything um would uh I, i'm guessing fresh water is kind of probably out of the question but um i don't know if it would be drafted from uh the alamo sea because then that would be like a, a standpipe versus a uh, a water hydrant <laughs> and Sorry, um i just that's got fine. really excited about that yeah <laughs> i know standpipes are amazing um but uh, just because there's no water grid in Sandy, everything's like well, you know, well water or drafts from um, I guess the Alamo Sea. I think that's fresh water. Um, how would how would we, you know, go about that challenge? Because the only reason I ask yeah. is because um, you know, it, it, obviously it's not salt water, so we're not worried about our our um, our pumps and our apparatus. But the um, just that I know standpipes need a lot of filtration. I, I mean just because they're drawing more from more from a direct source and they're not coming from like a fil filtered source like a, um, a fire hydrant in a city would have basically yeah um so i'm gonna be honest this isn't my area of expertise uh so we could see like you said some of it drawn from the lake but would it also be possible to install in sandy like a 
I don't know if the proper term is water tower or like a water plant for that can oh. be used for the fire agents. Water tower like, could work. Put something. Is just there set up a, that? I thought yeah. there was a water tower somewhere in Sandy, or was that is that something else? Um, uh, if it is, it might be out of service. We could get it running back up. I think you're thinking yeah. of the antenna off of uh, the sheriff's office, but I don't recall there being no. a water tower. No, maybe it, maybe it's uh, grape seed that I'm thinking of. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's um, also. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, just real quick. Also, I'm just thinking too because uh, grape seed is nearby. Um, maybe running an underground pipe through from grape seed to Sandy and have it work off of that. Because my only concern with the water tower is we'd probably empty that pretty <laughs> pretty quickly with our grape apparatus. Best. Would it make sense to attach the water tower to the lake and like clean it through there, or would that not work? Um, maybe. I, th I that I will definitely be a question for the water department, but yeah, it's like possible. Yeah, I was like, this is my. Uh, so I think at this point we need to. Um, Kim Wilson, you're really rest of this. If you want to take charge, find a fire marshal who wants to do this, and then I'll put okay. you in touch with the water guys, and they can work together and like give us a plan that they think would work. Yeah, I'll have a... I, yeah, for sure, I think fire marshals should take a general leadership of this just because they'll know... Um, they have they know all the standards as to how many blocks a one, one hydrant can cover and et cetera like that, as well as, you know, kind of, what kind of buildings are there. And I know that, you know, that takes into effect of how many are around. Nice. Um, also, I would like to put a time limit on getting the plan because I don't want, you know, it lasting forever. So maybe, oh, like... Two yeah. weeks and have the plan sent so we can get started construction. You know? yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, any more questions on hydrants? No. Nope. Uh, okay, uh, second issue. Uh, during my campaigning, a big issue that came up with a lot of uh, civilians was there is no level one trauma center anywhere in Blaine County. Gotcha. And I would love to get one there, whether you think it's best to upgrade one of the current hospitals or set up a new hospital. I just, I wanted to hear y'all's feedback on um, what you think of that. I mean, I definitely wouldn't mind a level one trauma center in, uh, you know, Sandy already has um, a hospital there. You know, I, I don't know whether or not it could be upgraded. That's definitely one for universal healthcare to answer because they, uh, they own all the hospitals in the state. So um, if, if they are able to, I'm sure they'll, they'll need a grant in order to do the construction to uh, revamp the hospital, but... So, wait, Oceanic is not level one? That's not Blaine County, though. It, that, that's in the oh, city. And... Yeah. Right, well... I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think we have enough people... To, I mean, this is something that for the for the governor, but I don't believe we have enough um, people out in the county to uh, warrant a level one trauma center, but... You really don't think me. so? Usually, usually that... Have... Usually, usually that's how it goes. Is they go on the population of the, uh, you know, the those that live out there. There's more people and moving there every day. I know well, that, that that's not. This is what I'm saying. Is this isn't something that I think we can really put our two cents in. That if, that if can... I would have to read. I, I would suggest redirecting that question to UHC. I think. Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Um, and yeah, also, I just, I just I just feel like putting a hospital out there is gonna makes no sense but that's just me that's um, a personal opinion also just i mean i'm concerned sorry. about the go ahead no no you first oh i mean i'm concerned about the people who are like who live there like in blaine county and they really hate driving to the city every time they get injured they're worried about those pivots by I, driving i mean fire i guess you know, that's a um yeah. i guess as a population thing i mean you could look at the population, uh, like the, the combined population of, of all Blaine County, and it would it might make more sense to have a hospital in Polito, um, because Polito, uh, you know, is, is a more developed uh, town. And uh, not only that, um, it uh, what was I gonna say, um, it could probably handle uh, a level one like that. And also it's it's now in a more strategic location because it's up north so that we're not driving all the way. Like if we have a patient yeah. that's in Sandy or a patient that's in Polito or a grapeseed, we're not driving all the way down to the city. You, you know, we'd have a hospital in, in um, Polito. Yeah. Yeah. So would y'all want it? Like if there was going to be a level one center, would you want it in Polito? Would you want it in like grapeseed 
or Sandy? Like, what would be the ideal? I'm trying to think of it far away from, you know, both Great Ocean and Pillbox, but also. Ideally, I would say Polito. Just for the, the, the strategic location of it. I also have uh, one little addition to that. Um, yeah. Something uh, that I would like to suggest to you, and maybe something you can you can work with um, UHC on. I would like to see them um, staffing the hospitals more uh, with, with uh, their personnel, because a lot of the local doctors and nurses they're they're great, but they're underfunded, and UHC is much more uh, better funded and have great um, you know personnel and great training and uh i used to see a lot more of their doctors in the hospitals and a lot more of their nurses and now we just don't see them at all and i don't know if they were like union and got you know laid off or something i don't know what happened there but i would love to see more of them okay, yeah. yeah i can relate to that because uhc i usually see a bunch of ambulances out but nobody oh. at the but hospital. no one in the hospitals yeah, yeah that's that's so a, why can't those yeah people who are in ambulances you know switch sometimes and go in the hospitals to have doctors I mean, obviously, they need training, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Right, yeah, but... Still, it would be great to interact with some doctors who actually, like, talk back. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely bring that up to UHC. Um, anything else for you, Chief? I can't think of anything that, um... I, I, I didn't... I was trying to write some notes earlier. I'm like, I don't really have anything. Things are fairly good right now. Okay. Austin, I um, mean, if stuff comes up, you've got my number, so I cut you off, Campbell. Oh, no worries. Uh, I... I did have one thing. Uh, this isn't a proposal, but it's just uh, something to be made aware of. But um, we've also, it's another HR thing where we are um, hoping to get more uh, members in the fire department to, you know, cover the state a little better. So uh, if you, hopefully that passes through and you'll see more of uh, more firefighters around here. Oh, good. Nice. That'll be nice. Uh, is there a cap on the department right now with how many? There is. It's uh, 50 to our department. Okay, and what are we trying to get it expanded to? 60. 60. Yep. Who does that go through? Uh, HR. HR Should in... Should figure out what's the downside of that. Like, you're not there extending is... your cap on duty one day, right? It's not... There is no downside to it. If anything, there's an upside. Uh, this is kind of in correlation to uh, managing, you know, how we want to do our shifts as well, which we explained to you. Um, it's just to allow more part-timers to join us. Yeah, I'm down. I think that's great. I'm never going to be like, yeah. no, no more firefighters. Like, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, you yeah. need less firefighters. Uh, you cut yeah, your I've staff by 10. Cut, yeah, that's actually why we're here today. Is you have... Cool. Think we're good on fire. Oh, I have one point of business. Um, this is before yes. you became mayor, but you should be aware of it. Um, I met with the leaders of um, the state DOT back um, like two months ago. Um, I'm, I just haven't signed the paperwork. I've been dragging my feet on it, but, um, we have a contract negotiation in process with them, um, for them to do our fleet maintenance for our entire department. So basically they would, um, do all the preventive maintenance or PM maintenance, uh, as well as any, um, maintenance that would be done due to like an accident or, you know, flat tire or whatever it is. Um, but they would also just, you know, occasionally take a piece of our apparatus um and you know we, we would put it out of service they would drive it up to their um dot garage and do all the like preventive maintenance like oil change and all that good stuff uh and then bring it back to us um you know so they are using state uh so we, we'd be using state um resources to maintain our fleet instead of us doing it in-house like we had and um looking at some of the the numbers uh, it would actually be saving the state and the taxpayers some money to use existing uh state employees uh instead of having our people come in and you know uh they're they're basically basically we've been doing maintenance with overtime um every time we do preventive maintenance or you know repair maintenance we're actually having our own firefighters uh do it with overtime which is time and a half so if we did it with the state employees, they would be just their regular wages and ultimately would be saving the taxpayers some money. Yeah, that makes sense. Again, I, I, if you need, you already said like you got it set up, right? Yeah, this, this is a meeting I had like two months ago um, and I have the paperwork okay. on my desk. I just have to sign it and give it back to them. So. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, I was like, if you need anything from the mayor's office, let me know. But it seems like you've got that. Yeah, absolutely. I hate to just, you know, like take credit for it and be like, oh, yes, look at this, saving the city money. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Hey, it's, it's technically happening under your administration. Under so. my mayorship, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, you know, when you go for re-election, just say, I've saved the taxpayers, you know. Don't, don't sound like Winston Churchill, though. I don't think you can pull that off. No, no, not, not my style. <laughs> uh, nope. I have, um... A non-fire related thing if we're done with fire sure okay let me just put away this clipboard here okay so um i'm gonna ask you something campbell you don't have to answer it right now you can think about it and let me know okay, okay. so i've been working with the uh, new uh community hill foundation that um took over persons area and I want to set up a rehabilitation center, basically, to help people when they get out of jail to have like a mentor or just, you know, have resources out there to help them get back on their feet versus just, you know, falling back into the wrong path and going back into jail. Um, part of that plan includes a mental health department division. Okay. And I'm going to be straight up honest here. I'm going to get Marie out of jail and I would love if you would help with that and sign a form basically that says since you were her victim of what she was charged with that you would be okay with her entering this mental health program again you don't have to answer right now if you say no i won't be mad at you and i will still move forward without it i just think it would help if the person she was charged with would sign that she wouldn't be just straight to the public she'd just be going to get help from mental authorities basically Right. Um, I'm always going to be for rehabilitation rather than punishment. So it's to me, it's a no brainer to sign up for it. Um, as long as you believe that she can be fully rehabilitated. I do. I do. I think she can get out and she won't cause any more harm. And I think she can make a difference in the city. So. Right. I, I'm all for it. I believe there should be more resources to things like that. I agree as well. Okay, um, I'll write something up then, and you can read over it and look at it, and then we'll uh, present it to the judicial system with the forms and everything, so with okay. the plan and whatnot. So, appreciate you. Yeah, uh, is this going to be a place where um, maybe we take some of our, uh, you said it's for rehabilitation from jailing, what about uh, other uh, Yeah, so the patients? mental health division doesn't have to be necessarily sent to jail. That's just like, it's there's going to be two departments for the center that's open. Okay, so this will also help anyone else who may be arrested and, you know, they deem, okay, maybe we want to rehabilitate you and jail yeah, is exactly. going to just cause a bigger problem than actually trying to get you help. Right, yeah, because right now there's a big thing where people are arrested and or just get in trouble by police and no matter what their issues are, then we just send them to jail and, like, just forget about it. And so I would like to make sure that stops happening some of the time. You know, obviously people do need to go to jail for certain stuff, but other stuff, they need someone to tell them, like, that they're important, put them on the right path, you know? Right. Yeah, I, I think it's a good idea. Um, I thought there was a... Uh, is Parsons not active anymore, or did they it's close? It's a community foundation now, is the name of it. Oh, okay. All right, so it's they're kind of in, over. in line with it. Yeah, so it's like in transition, so we're trying to build up a... Oh, okay. So you're all working together Something that's actually used, yeah. Because I know the big thing with Maria, and other people have had this issue too, was... We originally asked, um, I asked the governor if we could go see her at Parsons at the time. And they said yes. And then immediately after we visited her, they just threw her in jail. And so she wasn't, she's not getting any help now. Like, she's just stuck at Bolingbroke. Yeah, they transferred know, her straight to Bolingbroke after that. After really? That oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. So she got, wow. like, a day there. And then they were like, okay, that's it. That's all the help you get. So I want to make sure other people have, like, you know, they can spend weeks and, you know, getting help at community help before they go back to society. And I, right. I think that's going to also require increased security at Parsons just because if there's going to be people there like for example and and I hate to say this about uh about her but like her situation and what had happened with her you know the state considers her a threat because of what happened so that's you know like if, if it was anyone else you know obviously they would want higher security there because it is somebody who is a, a, what they consider a dangerous felon um oh, right yeah which Wait, is so, why, again, it's being, like, remodeled to where there's locks and all the doors in the walls. You know, you can't get out. Yeah, like, it's yeah. going to be, yeah. 
Okay, so these people are technically are arrested, but they are just under a different program, basically. Is is that my understanding? They're not uh, actually f fully out yes. and free? Yes, but there can okay. also be people who just want to go for help. Like, if, you know, they're feeling, if they're not arrested yet, they're just having, like, thoughts or whatever. Yeah. Okay, all right. So there's going to be, like, maybe a, you know, a block for the more, potentially more dangerous people. And then, you know, for those who are, I see, I see what you mean. Okay. Yes, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's all on my end. So. I'm happy to hear that you're still in contact with her and helping her out. Uh, a little bit. Like I said, it's hard when, you know, but it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. And I want to just clarify, the system's not just for her. It's for, you know, there's a lot of people that I've noticed, you know, especially now with, you know, the 5150s. And that's, I believe, cops jurisdiction. So, you know, if they 5150 someone, they're just thrown in jail. That's not going to help them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I've seen it a few times on fire duty already. So I have a suggestion. I don't know if mayors can write bills or anything like that. I don't know. I don't know what you would call it. But um, like... I can um, suggest like I have to go to the person who whatever department it's for. And like I can advocate for the city for it. Yeah. Because you can call it like the Maria bill or something. You know, kind of dedicate Aww. it. Oh, cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> use, use her as an example of like why this program should should work. That's actually oh. my plan, yeah, because it's nice to have a face to something. So yeah. I didn't think of the name, yeah. but she was going to be the Yeah, I think it's a good name for it. Yeah, and, and I believe she's a great example for it because she came back after a few years and, you know, basically gave herself up after apologizing. So there, there are people that can change. You just got to give them a chance. All right. Anything else? I can, no, I can show you all out if you're good, yeah. Oh, one more. I, I do have a suggestion. Can we get fiber internet here, please? For the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you just got to go buy a new computer, you know, it's, and then attach it to the wall because that's it's, the solution. Yeah, but the internet in this city sucks. Like the, the max is what, 500 megabits? It, it's bad. Yeah, it's it's terrible. That's that's terrible. Like it, I've been to places well, where it's like two gigabytes all right, well, I'll let y'all get about your day. I don't want to keep you here forever, so. I appreciate it. Thank you, and thank you for having us. And any anytime you uh, uh, need to request an audience, uh, feel free to you know, call us. Will do. Air Bailey, that's, uh, that's going to take some getting used to. I, hon I honestly didn't think it would happen, so here we are. <laughs> why, why not? You went out and campaigned. I think you were the only, actually, candidate I saw during the entire time. Yeah, I mean, if y'all want to know the truth, um, Olsen should have easily won this election. Why? Like, because he had all those votes from just being him. Had he spent a little bit of more time, like, going out to business and talking, like, he, it would have, but... I, I'm going to be yeah. honest. I'm going to be honest with you, Bailey. I was actually going to vote for him because I saw the video he put on the... Uh... Yeah, you know, no, a lot of people video oh, those commercials. Of video. Yeah, those commercials, yeah. and it was actually really funny that I was going to vote for him, but I wanted to uh, actually see who was going to make changes, and you were the only one I actually saw. I never saw Olsen. I don't know if... Did he ever come to no. the fire stations? Uh, he stopped by, like, while I was on duty. Um, oh, okay. Here's the thing, though. Like, great guy. I love him. He's amazing. I don't know if he'd actually make changes, and I offered him deputy mayor, and he turned it down because he didn't want to do it, so... Wait, you can offer a deputy mayor position? Oh, I did, yes. It's the, uh, yeah, the governor, so yeah. he said yes. So. Yeah, de deputy mayor, I believe, is an a is a appointed uh, position uh, yeah, by the mayor. Yeah, really. something happens to me, you know, who takes over for they the meantime. Refused it? That makes that yeah, because to me he didn't want to deal with it. Yeah, I was confused. I was you, like, you I didn't want to deal with it. Why not be the mayor? Again, I don't know. It's he's ha he got promoted, so he's happy with his new promotion and. Yeah. Oh really? He got promoted what? Uh, I don't know something. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever rank above. Well, I'll be honest. Like I, I, I voted for you. Um, you know, mainly because like I, you know, I've known you for a while, and it wasn't because I knew you and wanted to support you. Like I, I, I vote for people based on. I, I vote for people. I, okay, have, I put it this way. I don't vote for people. I vote for the policy that the people make. So. You are a great person, but I didn't vote for you because you're a great person. I voted for you because I believe that your policy makes the most sense and that you were dedicated to actually making changes that were going to help people. Um, because I know a little bit about your backstory and why you why you 
joined the fire department. So I know that when you ran for, for mayor that you were going to bring that same energy to this. And that's, that's why I voted. So I, I, I voted based on your policy. Oh, thanks guys. Appreciate y'all are so sweet. Okay. Okay. But <laughs> well, you know, uh, like I said, that's why I asked you all those questions. It wasn't me just because yeah, yeah, I'm an, I, I will be very upfront with you. I was I wasn't going to vote for anybody unless I uh, actually spoke with everyone and got, you know, their views. Makes sense, I'm, yeah. glad, I'm glad I was able to ask you some of the questions that I thought were important and you answer them. And to my uh, my like, especially the fire hydrants, you know. <laughs> OK, yeah, we'll see what we can do with that. Just yeah, find find somebody to spearhead it. All right, we'll uh, we'll leave you alone to your business. Yeah, I'll walk you out if you want. You can. And I'm jealous of your office. That's better than ours. Oh, thanks. Uh, you know, I'm gonna need an office at the fire station too when I'm on duty. So I'll just keep you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, no. Uh -huh. It's Green. already mine, so I'll just keep using it. Yeah, that blue post-it note is still there. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. No one took it down. Yeah, I'm really surprised uh, uh, Big Paul hasn't taken that down yet, considering that's his office. Oh, maybe he just doesn't care. Alrighty. This is a beautiful you place. A good one. Yeah, I'm actually working on getting um, a building, a city hall built in Lincoln County, but I'm using this in the meantime. So. Yeah, it's great. Have a good one, guys. I'll see yeah, you later. Good ones. You too, Mayor Bailey. It. Take care. Thanks. That was productive. Yeah, I think so. That's actually one of the best uh, politician meetings I've ever had. And I've met with a lot of politicians. <laughs> I like politics. I hate politicians. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Shall we go find a cafe to... Yeah, that works. Sit at? Catch you, catch you up on some of the things I've been working on. Oh, okay.